What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, King Tyson, and I'm back. Before we get to it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and you always watch the full video. Let's jump right to it. So in a previous video, I spoke on Karina exposing Flo for putting hands on her, even posting photos. Flo then later went on to deny those allegations. Well, Jazz and the whole FOE crew have issued a statement. It says, I just want y'all to know that I do not condone violence or domestic violence or anything that can cause harm to others. To my supporters and friends, please know that I have removed myself from anything that condones that. FOE will never stand for anything but- It's just crazy that he denied it and your friends basically said, this is true, this is real, because if they were standing behind you and, and it wasn't real, this wouldn't have been a statement. They would have said something completely different. He didn't do that, she lying, woo -woo -woo, but they didn't say that. Four people <laughs> reposted, copy and paste this same statement, which is crazy, because if y'all gonna do it, y'all better just not say nothing, or just let the jazz be the only one to say something. But, hey, four people re copy and paste this same statement, basically, and am I confirmed that you did it, because you denied it, but they, if they s separating themselves, not condoling, none of the stuff that, you know, that's involved with that, something ain't right positivity love and greatness love y'all so now jazz and Flo are no longer following each other on instagram and like i stated previously the whole foe crew issued the same statement and there's a video going viral on tiktok of one of Flo's friends the night that the incident occurred and you can hear Flo in the background stating that he's about to call karina okay. hey, See if she's great. Flo, I got a tree print stuff to my shit, son. Now I blocked the cussing out, but he stated, I'm finna call that B word and see if she's straight. So I'm guessing that's his way of being sympathetic, calling her a B word and that's checking wild, on her man. to see if she's good after she's just been beaten. But like I stated, the whole FOE crew issued the same statement. And I don't know, as a man. You can't feel like you're a man or you're that, you're a man, you're that man or some or that nigga. After that, do, I, I don't condone that at, at all, bro. At all. I don't condone no man hitting no female. If she was the one hitting you and you had to defend yourself, it's still a way that you can do that. You, you hold her down, hold her back, hold her hand. You, don't, you still don't have to go upside her head, bro. At all. It'd be a lot of men like, oh, it, it was a heat of the moment. Like, what, what heat of the moment, bro? You still thinking. You still are thinking about your actions. You still thinking about what you about to do. Like, yeah, it, it, I probably, it probably is a moment where somebody hits you your body just react to it. But the way her face looked, that wasn't just one reaction. That was a multiple, multiple things. That's crazy, though, bro. Including Jordan. Now, I say including Jordan because two years ago, Sierra accused Jordan of hitting her while she was pregnant. So people began to quickly call Jordan out on this, stating, Jordan, you need to sit this one out, my boy. So Sierra jumps to his defense. She states, honestly, Jordan don't got to sit this one out. He's never physically hit me. I never ended up with bruises. I wish y'all would stop trying to drag him in it or bring him down when ish like this occurs. I love y'all for having my back, but no one deserves to have this thrown in their face each time someone from his camp F up. We already talked to Karina and gave her nice words and helped in ways that we could. Y'all should do the same. So he never physically hit her because she didn't get bruises, but on her post, she stated he was hitting a pregnant woman. You guys leave your See? opinions on that below. Now she- See, look, this is what I be meaning when I, this is what I said before. It's a crazy world that we live in. People, it's always two sides to every story. First you said that he was, now you said that he didn't. Which one is the truth? Not saying that Karina is lying. I'm just saying. This is a crazy world. We are no humans. You can't trust humans 100%, bro. You can't. Also responded to another comment with someone stating, but was it you the one coming to social media trying to degrade him like he was? Oh, okay. Sierra responds with, and I'm the same one coming to social media two years later, cleaning it up 
since you can't seem to let things go that has nothing to do with you. I tried to be nice the first comment, but you're taking it there. If you bring it to the internet, you are, <laughs> you're putting the people who are going to have an opinion involved in it. If, there's, if it had nothing to do with, with her or us or nobody, don't bring it to the internet. That's how you keep people out of your situation. That's how you keep people uninvolved. Nobody will know what's going on or what happened if you didn't bring it to the internet. Two years later, but still. Come on, bro. Like, I hate when people be doing it trying to make it seem like you're wrong for having a, uh, an opinion on something they posted on the internet. Pretty relax. Now, Sierra can't be upset with people for bringing this up. Like this person stated, she is the one that brought that to the internet. Anytime you post something on the internet, it's forever there. People were upset with Funny Mike for posting a photo of Flo with a Webby song playing saying, keep your head up. Now, Flo was also out again with Funny Mike celebrating Abby's birthday. So all of this is occurring and Flo is just continuing to go out and party. And Karina just issued a statement that said the whole world fake as hell so you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below no i do want to move on to this next topic with nike and royalty now nike responded to some of the things that royalty stated in one of her videos especially about the whole child support situation with royalty telling lexi to stay out of their business but royalty was all up in nike and cj's business when they were having issues well <laughs> nike did respond to all of the backlash that she was getting in her comment section baby i'm in my comments and y'all are mad y'all so mad and i'm trying to figure out what y'all mad for y'all knew this was coming i guess y'all wanted me to respond when when i was supposed to or when when the mother thought they was addressing some shit i don't gotta respond on y'all time i can respond when i want to and at the end of the day i'm gonna always respond i always got something to say because when it was on me when the tables was turning and there was me and mine in our situation, everybody had something to say. Everybody had their videos flowing, their content putting out. Everybody had something to say. And y'all keep wanting to make it personally about her. I'm talking to all y'all over there. All y'all. Who be in my comments mad about me opening my mouth saying what I got to say about anything. Yep, I'm talking. And ain't nobody going to shut me <laughs> yeah, up. I was talking my shit then and I'm talking my shit now. It's Big P and I said what I said. Everybody has something to say about me and now I'm talking my shit. Fight me. So now Lexi also issued a statement after Realty okay. told her to stay in her place and called her a Barbie. Oh, Lexter, it's going to be a problem. So if I was you, Barbie, I would keep it cute and keep my kid's name out your mouth. So Lexi posts, Barbie. last time I checked, all the Barbies are perfect. So let's move on to this topic with Carmen and Corey. Now yesterday I told you guys that it was officially over between Carmen and Corey. They removed each other from their Instagram profiles and Corey went out for Funny Mike's birthday and when he returned, Carmen had moved all of her and the kids stuff out of the house so it may what? be really over this time i mean carmen has never moved all of her stuff out of the house gang y'all i just came home i said no sound oh, she waited you, mean no sound. you, you got, got to be so body, body. Body. you ain't gonna stop me mm -mm. so finally bro See, I had to wait to speak on this. The giveaway coming soon. Stay tuned. It'll be next week. So I'll be getting on here. I'll be doing like a cash out giveaway. I'm going to give a lot of money to y'all. I'm going to turn up. You know what I'm saying? Mixtape's going to drop. But finally, bro, I got my house. Hey, I got my house to myself. But I finally got my shit, man. I came home. I, I, I let the motherfucker had no idea what it is, you know what I'm saying? The motherfucker knew what it was. And I ain't bullshit. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh, that's savage, bro. Bruh. Nigga finally free, man. This shit feel good. This shit feel good. A nigga finally free, man. Boy, he gonna be sick when that's when that when it finally hit and he realized these females that he trying to deal with or chase or whatever ain't it? Ain't nothing. 
Boy, he gonna be sick, boy. God damn, bro. The holding me back, the manipulation, boy, nigga, finally fucking free, man. Y'all understand, like, me back. y'all might hit to the joke, but it hit different from when it's real life versus, you know what I'm saying, social media, so. This shit finally real, boy. I'm finally let go, boy. I, I, I finally can. I still gotta hold on to a little shit, because these motherfuckers still. But I'm finally free, bro. Y'all, fuck. Y'all don't understand, bro. These niggas don't understand what just happened. I love y'all. I know y'all finna, I, I know y'all finna be got y'all confused, but no, 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 no. Be confused, nigga. It's funny, because it's like he trying to get it, like... It's like, all right, in, in that situation, it's like after you've been with somebody so long and then you've done the stuff that he's been accused of, of doing, and then I guess it's the little thing that Carmen been accused of doing, it's like when you're together, all your, all, all like most of the time, y'all gonna just be arguing. Most of the time, it's gonna just be arguing, it's gonna be drama. It's not, it's not gonna be how it was in the beginning before all the drama started happening. So, therefore, it, it's just, it's, it seems like he's just trying to, all right, I'm done, I'm done with Carmen because I want to go be happy. I want to go be happy and be drama free. But, bro, the drama that's, that you're trying to get rid of is the drama that you caused. At least from the outside looking in. I'm finally free, bro. I don't got to take care of nobody no more. This shit's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Time for Corey to live with Corey. You know what I'm saying? Mid-state drop Friday. This shit gonna be a move. We gonna go on tour. Oh, boy. I ain't gonna be on no dumb shit. I'll let that shit be. But, oh. yeah, Wait, it's over. You know what I'm happy, saying? Bro. Nick can finally be where he can really truly be. A uh hoe. <laughs> they say it's a prank. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Somebody said, free from what, homie? I'm free, for, I'm free from being held down. By something that don't know what they want, you know? You know what I'm saying? Nigga can finally go out and be more successful and shit. Y'all don't understand. I ain't gonna really talk about it right now. I'll wait later. But when y'all hear the story, y'all gonna be like, damn, I would've never knew, you know? But I've sacrificed for all this shit. And I just have to make sure that this shit was legit. Like, you know? Like, okay, now I'm not bullshit. I'm all done. I got pushed away. I, I got tired. I'm tired. I can't deal with this shit no more. Y'all don't understand. I feel y'all. I love y'all, but y'all have no fucking clue, bro. Oh God, I'm gonna go crazy. Y'all pictures still up. I'm not gonna fall over my pictures. That's pictures. I was ready to bend the I've been ready to delete all that shit, but motherfucker play games and shit. Make it seem like it's shit good on the internet, but in real life, it's not. I'm. I'm like. I'm not on that. See, I was being used, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, I'm going to be real with y'all. It's okay. We're not tripping. It's all good. It's understandable. I was being used. You know what I'm saying? I was being used until a motherfucker can find out what they want to do. You know? So, motherfucker just used me until they can figure out what they want to do. Next. And then they kind of figured it out. I think. I don't know. I hope so. Dead deal to do. I've been trying to get this shit happen. This shit. Overdue. Anyways. Miami this weekend. We going to Miami. I gotta go shoot my music videos in Miami. Boy, my day, boy. Shit can be a fucking movie. I'm gonna be the baby. Nah. You know what? It's so crazy. I don't wanna eat that waffle right now. That shit for in the morning. I'm probably eating it when I got to the gym. I'm supposed to be eating. I don't be eating my food for real. I'll be some whole other shit. Out of state problems. Hey, yo, check this out. So, look, we're going to be in uh, Tallahassee's uh, Tallahassee, October 29th. The car show will be crazy, huh? Wait a minute. Let me see. Let me see. They need to send me a beat. Everybody send me all these beats now. So, y'all don't be rough on y'all beats. That's how y'all feel. Nah. I'm not rough on y'all beats right now. You sound faded. So look, I just left for the white party. Bro, I got to... Oh, hold on. You know what? Let me speak on this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me speak on this. So check this out. This shit is so crazy. So this is what I did with the night, right? So I right, boom. So this girl, right? I can't make this shit up. I went for the white party. This girl, now she drunk as fuck, I guess. I don't know, right? She come up to me, y'all. I can't make this shit up. I've never been so annoyed. 
She come up to me, she grab it on me and shit, bro. She talk about something, come here. Ooh. She said that karma was in her deal, trying to f*** her and all type shit. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I already know, I already know what's going on. Like, if karma was your deal, I'm trying to talk to you, because I done seen it. So I already know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So, ooh. She like, yeah, your girl like me. Your girl trying to f*** me. Ooh. I'm like, okay, cool. I don't give a fuck. Then so she trying to twerk on me, all type weird shit, right? This shit so crazy. I can't make this shit up. Y'all might laugh. This shit so funny. It's on camera. So, I walk outside. Get... <laughs> I, look, I look like this, like, like, like I can look around the corner, bro. Like, who was that? It must have been one, somebody kids. Them. Outside. Like, what? A girl walk like... behind her. She say, what's up, bitch? That's right. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? He hold for this dead ass scrub. She said, hey, she said, you flicked me all day from the fight. I'm like, y'all tripping. Y'all didn't relax. He gonna be sick, bro. When they when they finally hit, cause bro, I tell you, ain't nothing really out here, dog. If you got something good, hold on to it. Catch the next video.